Well, into the quarterfinals of the cup. Always nice. Yes, look, at the end of the day, that was the plan. We, we're obviously current holders of, of the trophy, so we, we want to try and retain it. So, um, yeah, to go through was the main objective tonight. Um, a weird game, actually. I've not really been involved in a game quite like it in terms of, obviously, they come with a game plan to just sit behind the ball and it becomes difficult and, and the game plan didn't particularly change even when we went one nil up. So it became a little bit of a boring game in terms of it looked a little bit like a training game where we had, I'd, I'd, I'd hate to guess what the possession percentage was, but it must have been, it must have been near the 90s, I, I imagine. But um, yeah, look, clean sheet. I would have liked to score more goals, obviously. It's something that, that we're conscious of. I know we've scored four Saturday, but it's something that we, we need to do better because we, we get in the final. I know look, tonight we got in the final third with ease, but you need to break it down. It can be difficult, but it's something that we've spoke about before that we need to do more to, to try and score goals. We don't really score a tapping. Our goals have always been quite either super strikes. We've scored so many wonder goals this season. Um, we need to score more, more tappings, and tonight was was an ideal opportunity. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that respect, but we've gone through clean sheet and, and again, the big thing for me, no injuries. So, yeah, I've got them pleased. And an absolute worldie from Jake got us through. Yeah, look, Jake's been on, I've known Jake a long, long, long time now. As a kid, I thought he would go on and be a professional. Didn't quite happen for him. Um, he's one hell of a player. You know what, he, he's obviously done a lot of work. Obviously, when I come back, he wasn't in great form, wasn't, um, confident um, he's gone away and he's worked on his physique he's, he's a unit now he defends as, as well as anybody um, and goes forward and scores goals as well now so he's looking like the modern day all round perfect fullback. he's done unbelievably well and today was probably his best goal I would say he's, he's confident enough now to receive the ball and go forward which the old Jake guy that I knew would do he's back to that and he just stepped on and he's caught it perfectly. He's sat up nicely for him and he's gone in the top bin. So he'd be made up for that. And it, it was what we needed. Obviously, it was always going to be difficult when you've got 10 players behind the ball and they, they're not moving, they're not really offering anything. It can become frustrating. I just told the lads to be patient and um, wait for the openings, which, to be fair, we've got to give them a bit of credit. They, they had it and kick it and clear didn't offer much going forward until they sort of went for the last two minutes. But at that stage, it was probably a little bit too late. So... Um, yeah, the goal I was hoping would lead to more, but it was controlled performance. It was so comfortable. I was going to rest lads and, and um, bring lads off early, but there was no need because it wasn't a really stressful game. It was, like I say, it was like a training exercise. So we're happy. No injuries. Into the next round and we see who we get. And the clean sheet is always nice for the confidence. Yeah, look, it's something it, as a manager, as a group of players, you strive for. If you, if you get clean sheets, you don't lose. And that's, that's as simple as it is. So... Um, keep getting the clean sheet tonight meant we were never going to lose and we're always going to score goals we, we've got we've got forward thinking players we've got players that are dangerous in the final third tonight it was just a little bit disappointing that they didn't take the opportunity to, to get their stats up and, and get goals to their names and, and score more but we're through to the next round that was that's the be all and end all that's all we wanted and you don't have any preference usually so I presume that's the same again yeah look, to win any trophy you need to to be prepared to play and beat anybody, so there's no one in 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 the in the trophy that, that we're, we're scared of or run shy of. So um, I'd like to be at home if if you can be. And obviously, it's always nice to play at home rather than travel. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And, and like always, like you've seen tonight, I'm I'm not going to throw this trophy to the side. This is one that we want to retain and, and and win again. And. There was plenty of chances, as you said. Seth could have possibly got two, three goals. Yeah, look, he's, he's an unbelievable young player with loads of prospects, and he's going to be a hell of a player um, for Needham and probably beyond if he keeps listening and working and progressing like he does. Um, he looked a bit disappointed in it, but like I said to him, I've missed worse. I've missed 100% missed worse. And the fact that he's in the right place to score and tells me that he's going to score a hell of a lot of goals in his career. Um, sometimes it happens. You know, I would have loved him to get his first goal for the first year, I would have. But they will come in. He's going to have plenty of games and plenty of time and, and score plenty of goals for Needham Market. And Harvey was given man a match. Would you agree with that? Um, a difficult one, really. It was, it was difficult to really gauge who was man of the match because we had so much possession. No one really gave the ball away because they weren't under any stress. 
I suppose look what Harvey does bring is he, he gets you on the edge of your seat in the final third. He can go past people. Um, I'll always push for more. Um, Harvey's one hell of a, a player as well and, and got got great potential himself. My question is, could have he had a little bit more end product? Could have he added a goal to his tally? Um, but yeah, I, I don't suppose you can argue with that decision. But um, it probably was a little bit of a tough decision tonight. And we move on to league on the road to Peterborough. Yeah, and, and, and a tough one. A tough one. We've had some really tough games against Peterborough over the last couple of years. They're, they're a good outfit. They've got a big squad. They've got a good manager, who I respect. Um, they're a little bit of a bond there now because of the Byron injury. I think it's given a bond between the clubs. Um, and it'll be a tough game. Obviously, they're in and around the playoffs where we would love to be. Um, and we just want to finish as high as we can. We, we want to try and finish as high as the club's ever done. We want to still push for the playoffs which looks an awful long shot now, I must admit. I just don't want the season to die, so we're not going there just to be part of it. We're going there to try and win three points. Um, <clears throat> and it'd be a totally different game to what you've seen tonight. Um, they definitely won't sit off. They, they come at us. And in many ways, that, that gives you opportunities to hurt them a little bit more. I thought I said to Tom during the first half, you actually want Walsham to have a little bit of possession to come out so that the game becomes like a normal game where there's normal spaces. It just wasn't their time. But Saturday would be totally different. We'll have to defend for our lives. We'll have to put our bodies on the line. We'll have to be prepared to run forward. We'll have to be prepared to, to, to take risks. Um, and if we do that, we'll have a chance. In a way, you could say tonight was a unique, different challenge that's good to have the experience of because who knows, we might need it going forward this year. Yeah, so I said to lads, sometimes it's nice to have games like tonight where you are so dominant. Um, and I'm not, I'm not being disrespectful to Walsham Willows, they're, they're two, two leagues below us I think, um, they're doing well in their league and, and you can see why they've got players that want to work hard and, and put their bodies on the line and they've got a little bit of energy going forward um, but it was a comfortable game which was a nice game for us but I said to the lads at half time it's not a nice game I don't mean it a nice game in terms of we could just relax and, and it'd be easy and coast through it, I thought it was a nice game where you do get a lot of possession but it's an opportunity to, to problem solve they sat behind it how are you going to get them behind them? How are you going to move them across the pitch? How are you going to create space to slide people down the side to create chances? Um, that's why it was a nice game. Not, not because we could just coast through it um, in first gear. Um, so in that respect, obviously, I'm, 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 look, I am a little bit disappointed that we didn't open them up more. And I know we did create chances and we should have won by more, but I, I was wanting us to be ruthless and it, and it didn't happen. So it was a nice game. It was not a stressful game. There was no injuries, so... Over one, obviously, please. We've gone through to the next round and we'll see who we get. But um, I look forward to Saturday. We train Thursday and then look forward to getting back on the league campaign. And, and, and I'll keep on at them. And Tom will keep on them. And Mano will keep on at them to, to, to push yourself to be the best we can and, uh, and improve and move forward and, and, and get the biggest point tally we can get to, and, and see where it leaves us. And also, another good thing players like Tom, who's had a few chances more of late, but had to work for his chances and got yeah. them deservedly. And Sturges back from suspension, minutes in the tank for them. Yeah, look, it's important to, to try and give lads that have been patient minutes. Um, Tom's had to be super patient. I feel for the lad a little bit because obviously he went on loan to Sudbury. I let him play in the trophy there because I didn't want him to be restricting games. And they went out of the trophy. They were running the FA Cup, which really was already cup tied in. So he missed out on a, a real big chunk of games this season. There's no doubt he's a talented kid. He's got unbelievable technique. Um, and, he, and he's chomping on the bit for an opportunity. So tonight was good to get him minutes. Um, and 